I'm Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook. In our last video, we saw one way where well-intentioned conservatism can actually be very bad for tool life. Turning down the feed rate too much causes rubbing. As we saw in the last video, you'll remember this diagram that shows how rubbing starts when chips get too thin. Here's another way, though, that being too conservative can hurt. If you cut back your cut width or step over too much, you're going to be right back to rubbing because of something called chip thinning. Let's check it out. This diagram is looking straight down the axis of your end mill from above. We're considering two different cut widths represented by the dark lines. A deep cut like the one shown that is half the cutter diameter has no problems with chip thinning. The chip is shaped like the combination of the red and the blue, but a very shallow cut, as represented by the lower line, has a very different chip shape. It's just the blue part of the chip, and you can see that it is obviously much thinner than that red part up higher. The chip for any cut that's less than half the cutter's diameter is thinner because of this chip thinning geometric effect. By now, since you understand how rubbing works from our last video, you should also be able to see that by reducing the width of the cut or its step over, you're reducing the chip load, and at some point, if you reduce it enough, you're going to trigger that rubbing. Just imagine the poor guy who is so conservative of his new machine and new cutters that he turns the feed rate way down and he uses a very shallow cut width on top of that that guy is going to be into serious rubbing, he's going to be burning up his tools, and all along he thought he was babying them. Ouch! What can you do about this? The answer is you have to do a little math to account for the chip thinning. What you want to do is to choose a target chip load. Based on that chip load and the cut width, you can calculate how much faster a feed rate is needed to offset the chip thinning. Here's what that math equation looks like to calculate. Now, if you don't want to mess with that, just use a feeds and speeds calculator that automatically accounts for chip thinning. This is my G-Wizard calculator. So let's try an example and see how this chip thinning works. Here's a cut with a half inch end mill in aluminum. I plugged in a half, half inch of cut depth and a half inch of cut width, so there's no chip thinning going on at all. G-Wizard tells us to make the cut about 7600 RPM, 64 inches per minute feed rate. The chip load with those feeds and speeds is 0.0028, and the adjusted chip load is 0.0028 as well. Now, let's slash back the cut width to just 0.1. Notice how the feed rate and RPMs are quite a bit faster because we're not making a full slotting cut. But also notice that the chip load is still 28 thousandths, but the adjusted chip load is now 35 thousandths. That's telling you that if we didn't adjust for chip thinning, we're running a feed rate that would normally have given us 0.0035 of chip load, but after the chip thinning adjustment, it's now back up to 0.0028. Put another way, a lot of the feed rate increase is being made simply to keep the chips as thick as they were to avoid chip thinning. Chip thinning comes in multiple flavors. We've just been talking about radial chip thinning. But anytime you are taking a circular bite, you can imagine some form of chip thinning is possible. How about a ball nose cutter or a cut made with a round insert? Yeah, Chip thinning can happen there too, and you must adjust for it in two dimensions with those type of cutters, both for cut width and cut depth chip thinning. Adjusting basic speeds and speeds with formulas like this can be done, but it's a lot of trouble. Use a spreadsheet to get it right, or better yet, a feeds and speeds calculator to account for chip thinning. Reducing feed rate and cut width can lead to more conservative cuts, but taken too far, it can also lead to rubbing and poor tool life. Always be sure to keep your feed rates up enough to avoid rubbing and offset chip thinning. Your tools will thank you for it, and you know your cycle times will be better too. And that's our story for today. Thanks.